What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to freeze panes in Microsoft Excel 2010. That simply means to keep the table column headings when you're scrolling through your spreadsheet. As you can see here, I've got a spreadsheet and when I scroll down, the column headings at the top disappear. Also, if I scroll across to the right, the names of these students disappear also. What I'd like to be able to do is keep both the column headings and the names of the students on the sheet all the time. So it's actually quite easy to just freeze the top pane so that these always stay. To do that, if you go to the view tab in the ribbon and click freeze panes and just freeze the top row, what that will do is it will literally freeze that top row so it always stays on your screen even when you scroll down. To take that off, just go back to freeze panes and unfreeze the panes. It's also quite easy to just keep the first column so that the names stay. So in this example, freeze panes again on the view tab and freeze the first column. As you can see now, if I scroll across, the names stay. However, if I scroll down, Obviously the column headings disappear because I'm doing one or the other. What I actually need to do, and I'm just going to unfreeze the panes, is I need to click after the row that I want to keep and after the column that I want to keep. So I need to click in the first cell after the row uh, that I want to keep and after the column. So if I click in this cell, B2, that's clicking after the column I want to keep and it's also um, clicking after the row I want to keep. If I click in here and then go to freeze panes and then just click on this top option which is freeze panes, it will freeze everything above that cell and it will freeze everything to the left of that cell. So now if I scroll down, the column headings are still there and if I scroll across, the names are still there. So I can scroll across and scroll down and both the names and the headings stay there. Obviously you can do this with um, whichever cells that you require to keep. So for example, if I unfreeze this panes, let's say for example I wanted to keep the names, the notes and the code for all the students. I also wanted to keep the top row, then I would simply click in this cell here. After the three columns I want to keep frozen and after the first row that I want to freeze. So if I do this and freeze the panes, Again, if I scroll down, the column headings will stay there. And now if I scroll across, all three of these first columns should stay there, which they do. So that's very useful if you've got a lot of data that is labeled and you want to keep those labels on your screen. So what we've done in this video is we have learned how to freeze the panes in Microsoft Excel. 